guys, how are you? Today I'm going to be doing an update on my Reckless Journal Now in Color. If you would like to see part one, it is down below, and I will explain in that video what makes it different than a regular Reckless Journal. Sorry for the noise, James is in the room with me. James, look, it's you! He says, uh-uh. He wants to be in here because he wants to watch me film the video, but he doesn't want to say hi. In today's video, I will go ahead and show you the pages I have done since last time. This page said to color this page red on purpose. It instantly made me think of Alice in Wonderland, where they are painting the roses red. So I colored the background red with chalk pastels and watercolors. Then on a separate paper, I drew white roses and painted the bottoms of them red, cut them out, and glued them in. And here is a close-up on the roses. This page said, pour, spill, drip, spit, fling, different colored drinks here. My first idea was to fling some of my pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks onto the page, but I didn't do that for two reasons. I didn't want to waste any of my latte, because I just love coffee way too much to do that. And the second reason is because I like to save my journals for like ever, and I didn't want to put anything in the journal that could potentially become moldy and smelly. So this is what my page looks like, and instead what I did was I took a paint marker and I dripped some orange paint and glitter into water and I flung it onto the page and let it dry and that is the effect that I got. The reason I wanted to dilute the paint in water is to make it more like a drink without it being made out of something that could go bad. On the page next to it I drew myself holding a pumpkin spice latte and I did like pumpkins in the eyes kinda like how in cartoons when someone falls in love they get heart eyes this next page told you to color the entire page, and I did this page on the same day, so I still had coffee on my mind. So I decided to draw the Starbucks mermaid hugging a Starbucks cup. Here is what she looks like. I tried to imagine if the Starbucks logo was more of like a cartoon character. And on the page next to that, so it wouldn't be blank, I glued in some other things that I've like picked up at Starbucks before. So there are little cards about some of their coffees that they sell. But I really liked the colors and I thought it went well with the drawing, so I put them on the page next to it. I really do not like how these next pages turned out. I was having a rough time with my art for like a week or two there, and everything I did just felt not nice to me. Um, this page told you to tear strips of color and then make plaid out of them. So I had an idea that I was going to take some of the paper that is provided in the back of the book, tear it up, and make a little pr plaid print, and draw myself as a toddler with the plaid as my outfit. So as you see, the skirt is those strips of paper from the back of the book that I made the plaid out of. I was trying to incorporate the Make a Paper Chain page with it, um, which also had colored strips of paper on the page, and I was going to try to make a tiny paper chain and glue it into the book to make it look like I was holding it because when I was a child I made paper chains all the time. However, it didn't work. I tried for like an hour to make it work and I got super frustrated and I just glued in strips of the paper and said that I did make a paper chain but I couldn't get it to get in the book the way I wanted it to. This next page told you to document the colors of your dinner. and it suggested to like smear your dinner on the page but like I said I like to keep my journals and I don't want to put actual food into it so instead what I did was I broke down what I ate as my meal into the ingredients and added the colors next to it and then whatever the colors inspired me to draw is what I did on the page next to it so the day that I did this page I had salad and coffee so I wrote down all the ingredients that were in the salad and what color they were and then I was inspired to draw Ariel, even though her hair had to be orange because of the cheddar cheese and not, like, red. I was really sad I didn't have tomatoes in my salad that day. Um, so we have Ariel with orange hair instead of red. 
this page said, chew on this. Warning, do not swallow. And I thought of something that I used to do when I was a child. <laughs> I used to like to eat little pieces of Play-Doh. I know, that's disgusting, but when I was a kid, I did that. And one day, my preschool teacher told me not to eat it, so I thought I would be a smart aleck, and I chewed on it, but I didn't swallow it, because then I wasn't eating it, but I was still eating Play-Doh. I don't know what was wrong with me, and I know it's weird to admit on the internet that I ate Play-Doh as a kid, but oops. <laughs> I drew a little Play-Doh on separate paper, cut it out and glued it in, and then I added some washi tapes on the pages to add some more color. God bless you, James! These pages told you to collect the colors that you like here. When I would get letters from my pen pals, if there were stickers or washi tapes that are my favorite color, I would put some on the pages. Here is what it looks like. As you can tell, I really like blue and mint. This page said to let the colors run, and instead of dripping some sort of paint or melting crayons on the page and letting the pigments run down the page, I pictured actual crayons running. That's just how my brain works, apparently. So, I drew crayons running. This page said to color outside of the lines, and then with red ink, it had a circle in the middle of the page. I wanted to draw something off of that circle without actually coloring in the circle at all, and I thought of little cactuses. I think little potted plants, like the succulents and the cactuses, they're so stinking cute. Um, and I had a washi tape with them on it, so I was like, perfect opportunity to use that washi tape. So here is what I did on... The page with the actual circle, this is what I drew, and then on the page next to it I added the washi tape at the bottom and did another potted cactus. This page told you to write with a pen in your mouth and I decided to write a quote from The Office because I have been re-watching all of The Office on Netflix again. I wrote the quote with the pen in my mouth on the top of the page and then on the bottom of the page I wrote it with my hand in case like I ever forget what I tried to write. I don't think I did too bad with the pen in my mouth though. This is like my third reckless journal though so I've had some practice doing this page in the past. And I chose a quote from Dwight and it says before I do anything I ask myself would an idiot do that? And if the answer is yes I do not do that thing. On the blank page next to it I did a little cartoon drawing of Dwight and I added some like paper and some paper from a Dunder Mifflin tablet that I have and then I added the logo from the Dunder Mifflin paper that I have on the bottom with some washi tape if you've never seen the show Dunder Mifflin is the name of the paper company that the show is about the last page that I have done so far tells you to sleep with the journal and to write about your experience here so what I did was I stuck the journal under my pillow and then I went to sleep I added the date to the page, and then I wrote about the dreams that I had that night. And then to make the page a little more interesting, I added some galaxy washi tape, and I did a little doodle of myself sleeping down at the bottom. So that is everything that I have done in my Reckless Journal now in color since the last video. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a big thumbs up. It helps me out. It helps me know which videos you guys enjoy to watch. Thanks for watching. I love your beautiful faces, and I will see you next time. Bye!